Here we go. Off down route two. Route two. Over here, Queso. Why don't we just walk together? Jeez. All right, Queso. It's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of winning that Pokedex. I've caught some already. Hey, where did you come from? Only look at you, little Queso. I'm not that little. You've already caught some of your own. Your mum gave you these Pokeballs, did she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. I don't intend to catch more than two. Once I've got my six, that is all I'm getting. So I'm not tempted to use anyone else. Um, yeah, he's talking and I'm not reading. There we go. <laughs> all right, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Awesome. I don't want squirrels and birds or anything different. <gasps> it's a trainer. Let's annihilate this little child. It's common balance for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. So what do blind people do? Youngster Jack. Squabbit. Poke him with your stick. I used the wrong move. I used taunt and not poking with my stick move. That's rubbish. That was... It's because taunt used to be at the bottom. Not taunt. Stick move used to be at the bottom. I wasn't concentrating enough. Whenever there's strong trainer, I always look right at them. Get off, bird. Come on, little foxy fox. Gonna poke him with the stick. Ow! Yay. Ooh. Hello, Loxley. Ooh, no one got there. How many more Pokemon do I need to catch? Oh, I've got my six. I never need to catch another Pokemon. I can just annihilate them. Cute and strong together in combination. <laughs> Last Lauren. Poke in with your branch. Should be super effective. Kadoosh.
Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a way to go. Oh, little boy again. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm going to beat you. No, you're not. Benjamin, you're very foolish. I'm going to take your little insect and I'm going to poke it with my stick. Oof, another one. Keep your own moves, mate. You'll be gone soon enough. Lose to wild Pokemon. Lose to my own many trainers. Yeah, you're rubbish. Give it up. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of Dynamax Phenomenon yet? Oh goodness no, the whole thing is so full of questions. I'd hope that my granddaughter would take over the research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia, welcome young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Why, Hop dear, I see Wulu has made some new friends, and you must be Queso. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll still have it. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. I don't think I will. It's not my main goal. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Queso? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax into the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey Professor, do us a favour, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, you wouldn't in... Why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Kesso only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Galar region become strong. Trainers. Become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. The goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if you two can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Queso. Okay, I'm on my way. Hurry up, Queso. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Jeez, it's not like I took a long time. Look, how did Leon get out of here first? I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. 
And to do that, I need the endorsements to take part in the gym, da gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. I'm rather, I'm rather interested to see in how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. Oh yeah, excuse me. It's time for my legend to begin. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Go, Wooloo! You know what my tactic's gonna be? I'm gonna poke it with a stick. Give it a poke. Oh, he'd be so good at getting like Pikachu onto a bus because he can poke him on. <laughs> Best joke ever. Let's switch this Pokemon. What's in the house holding? Slash. Ew. No way a bird can beat a cat. You landed a critical on my Pokemon. I sure did. Sobble, let's put back in Drummer Boy. It's not going to be close, I'm going to annihilate you. What are you thinking? Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned the tight matchup. And you live back at your house. Oh no, water gun. Ooh. She's back. Hello, beautiful. You are, you're beautiful. Yeah, get rid of growl. Oof, guys that I lost, but I expect nothing less than my rival. And I even got my Pokeballs thrown throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key of the two of us to getting stronger, right? I don't know, I've never lost. Never ever. Kesso, hop. Well, after seeing such a match like that one, 
I suppose I've little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You obtained the letter of endorsement. You put the letter of endorsement in the, your bag's key item pocket. Yes, thanks Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through to the gym challenge to reach you. You may both still you may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. It wasn't a battle, it was an annihilation. I hope you always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball. Hop. You've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw a Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd be worried about you still obsessing over such nonsense, but it seems that you really have grown a, a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Keso. Alright, Keso. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Against one another? That's the way of it when you get a great rival. Just like you've got me, I've got you. Huh? What's that? Keso, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. With one of these, my Pokemon could Dynamax. They're gonna be massive! Yes. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their hearts, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I don't think he will. There, I have said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do anything for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright, oh, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Keso and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we go to battle with that mad Pokemon in the slumbering world and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home at the right time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have a d some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trending curries. The curry decks. And we're all healthy again. It's morning at last and time for our venture to truly start. Good morning to you young challengers. Hop, is it true you really set what set is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognise? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was a weird heavy fog and when then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Keso tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It was pretty all hazy. It's all pretty hazy. The right fount of information you are. Keso, hop, these are for you. Got my Dynamax bands. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slips it on your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. Yeah, we know this. We know this. 
Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by putting wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste your time, do you? I think you'll find it's not as simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet. If you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on the, gig the gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. This will help you out on your Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on Queso. I'll beat you to the station. Probably will. <laughs>